Welcome to St John's for our weekly update. Uh, Sunday coming is the Feast of the Holy Trinity. It's the day when we celebrate uh, the nature of God. And uh, the Trinity is something that's often associated with complex theology. And it certainly is true that um, uh, over the years, theologians have uh, developed really quite complex systems to try and understand the nature of the Trinity. At its heart though, the Trinity is an expression of the lived experience of the people of faith down the years. So over the years we have experienced God as, uh, as being integrated into the very fabric of uh, the whole of the universe and yet beyond it we have encountered God in the person of Jesus and we have encountered God in uh, the, the spot, what we call the spirit, the ongoing presence of Jesus and the revelation of God uh, in the world in, and in our lives and in our hearts. And so at its heart, the, the idea of the Trinity is really experiential. And it's wrestling with the idea that we have uh, experienced God in these many faceted ways and yet we still understand there is only one God. And so all of the theological ponderings are really just trying to make sense of our lived experience. So on Sunday we come to worship with the idea that we will encounter God in many ways, particularly at worship in the breaking of the bread and in the breaking open of the word. There's a lot happening in the life of St John's uh, at the moment and a lot of new things happening uh, as we get towards back towards something like uh, a normal normality despite the fact of COVID, uh, living with COVID if you like. Um, Victoria of course reminds us that we are never far away from being disrupted and so we continue to exercise care. We still uh, encourage people to practice social distancing and we still have really good protocols in place in terms of uh, sanitising hands and sanitising uh, the cathedral. But with all of that as the background we are continuing to uh, allow our life to unfold so that we can interact with each other and enjoy each other's company. Friday night the girls choir will be offering a service of light. It's the first uh, time we've had this offering. It's a beautiful way to finish the week so please join us at uh, six o'clock. This coming Sunday we have a new study beginning which will be offered in the Darnell room and on Zoom and that is entitled Being Anglican and it explores uh, what it is, what is the particular nature of, of the Anglican Church. Uh, the Anglican Church brings a particular understanding of life and of God and of what it is to explore life in God. And it's a un unique contribution and uh, so Bishop Bill will be helping us to uh, unpack that. On Sunday evening we have a special even song to honour the fact that uh, this is the Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And so uh, the Reverend Sue Grimmett will be our preacher. Our members of the Diocesan Domestic uh, violence task force who have been working on a study together uh, will be with us and so after Evensong we will uh, enjoy refreshments together and explore some of the issues uh, that the church faces and we face as individuals uh, in the face of this domestic violence uh, pandemic. One of the signs that life is uh, getting back to something like normal is the fact that some more of our weekday Eucharists are returning uh, this week, which is a great joy. So there are an increasing number of opportunities for us to attend Eucharistic worship uh, during the week. The next of our free morning concerts, uh, this is one of the uh, conser conservatorium outreach concerts and this one features uh, the singers from the conservatorium. It's also great to uh, celebrate the fact that English conversations are resuming in this coming week where they've been on hold during COVID, but our small but dedicated team are reconvening and we'll be welcoming people uh, into the Darnell room on a Thursday afternoon uh, to engage in conversation. If you'd like to know more about how that works, we're certainly looking for 
more people to be involved, um, please be in contact and we'll put you in contact with members of the, the team. Uh, you don't have to be a teacher, in fact the, we call these English conversations rather than English language classes for a reason. They are conversations. Uh, many of the people who uh, attend are really just looking for conversation partners. Um, if you've ever learnt a language, you will know that uh, one of the great challenges is finding uh, native speakers of the language that you're learning just to enter into conversation with. So it's really a time of fellowship and conversation rather than a time of teaching. Uh, we learn through living. A Thursday is the feast of, feast of Corpus Christi. It's a beautiful feast day. It's the day when we give thanks for the gift of the Eucharist. Uh, one of the great things the church does is reminds us from time to time to say thank you for the things that we might otherwise take for granted. You know, the Eucharist is there for us uh, as, we've, as we're celebrating throughout the week but also on Sunday and we can just take it for granted but Corpus Christi says um, let's pause a moment and give thanks for the fact that we have this amazing gift and that we can encounter the crucified and risen one in this particularly unique way. And so Thursday we'll be having a, a, a choral Eucharist at 7pm to give thanks for the gift of the Eucharist. Our cathedral retreat will be happening this year in early August. Uh, Kerry Holland is the retreat conductor and we're very excited about that. Uh, bookings are now open, you'll find a brochure uh, that explains the retreat and how much it costs and so on uh, on the website or hard copies here in the cathedral. We do ask that if you intend to go you signal your intention to do that soon. Uh, places are very limited. The Lord Mayor's prayer breakfast is happening next week as well. Uh, it's one of the things we missed out on last year due to COVID. Uh, if you'd like to join one of the cathedral tables, we still have a couple of seats available. Uh, please be in touch with the office if you'd like to do that. Sunday is the last opportunity to uh, assist the Trinity Pantry through our outreach through offerings program. We do collect groceries week by week to assist the pantry. Uh, once a year though, we also dedicate the outreach through offerings, offerings uh, to the work of Holy Trinity. So if you'd like to assist with uh, cash through the Outreach Through Offerings program, uh, please uh, send your money in soon. And one thing I ask you to commend to your prayers please is the fact that in this coming week uh, Brisbane is going to be host to what is called the Land Forces Expo. What it is is a weapons expo and the aim of the expo is to sell weapons. For me it highlights the fact that uh, in this country we don't have anything like a good or honest conversation about uh, how we use our defence forces, uh, how we get involved in conflicts and uh, how we have industries that actually produce weapons and we have no conversation about uh, who those weapons are sold to. I have no idea, um, do you? Um, and so. I, for me, um, I'm deeply troubled by the fact that we're having an expo in Brisbane. I'm even more troubled by the fact that there seems to be no conversation in this nation about how we live together internationally and how we negotiate international relationships. And so I commend that to uh, your prayers, particularly with the background that June is actually PTSD Awareness Month and we are aware of how many of our returned uh, service personnel actually suffer from PTSD, how that affects families and communities and even leads to an increased suicide rate. So there is actually um, some really serious conversations that need to take place and uh, I ask you to be uh, prayerfully attentive to that and how we uh, might be enablers of really deep and meaningful conversation that may be and hopefully will be transformative. We have a lovely uh, collection of birthdays in this coming week. So we say uh, happy birthday to Ian Harper, 
to Steve Parker, our theological student, to Simon Tinkler, Greg Vickery and Andrea Barrett. Happy birthday to all those folk. It's wonderful that we are able to have so much uh, activity happening again. Um, we are mindful of those of you who do need to uh, stay apart because of COVID and those of you who have over the past year found yourself uh, unable to leave your home, uh, particularly those who've become more infirm and frail. Uh, you are often in our prayers. Uh, if there's anything we can do to assist you, uh, such as bringing you communion at home, uh, please do be in touch. The Lord be with you.